Hello babies and friends! Today we're going to talk about bedtime story time with babies. Adding stories to your bedtime routine is a great way to signal to babies it's time to go to sleep. Doing the same thing every time baby goes to sleep creates both a comforting and safe setting. Your baby likes for things to be predictable and loving. I have picked five of my favorite bedtime books to share with you today. But of course, you don't have to read a book that is aimed at bedtime. You can pick any book that you and your little one enjoy. With the exception of one, all of these books have a fun cadence and then end nice and gently to signal it's time to calm down and go to sleep. My first book is a very basic one. It's called Baby's First Bedtime, and it is a Hinkler Building Blocks book. Each page has a simple picture and just one word describing the picture. The next four books all have a story that go along with them. This book is Roll Over. It is a song you may be familiar with already. This version was illustrated by Merle Peak and starts at 10 and counts down all the way to one when our little one is finally comfortable and ready for sleep. One in the bed and the little one says, alone at last. Our next book is Snowmen at Night, written by Carolyn Buner and illustrated by Mark Buner. This one tells us the story of what we imagine snowmen might be doing at nighttime that causes them to look so silly the next day. Sledding, ice skating, and sipping cold cocoa are just some of the fun activities they might do. The Goodnight Train, written by June Sobel and illustrated by Laura Holiska Beef, is a lovely imaginative story about a train that takes you through sleepland and straight to your bed. And lastly, Pajama Time by Sandra Boyton is another fun bedtime book. Sandra Boyton is a fan favorite and I highly recommend any of her books for your little ones. This book is a sing-songy tale about getting into our pajamas for bedtime and I'm going to share it with you today. The moon is up. It's getting late. Let's get ready to celebrate. It's pajama time! Pull on the bottoms, pull up the top, get yourself to pajama de bop. It's pajama time. Now, some are old, oops, some are new, and some are red, and some are blue. Look, he's reading the same book we are. Some are fuzzy, some are not brushing his teeth. Do you brush your teeth before you go to bed? But we can all pajama in whatever we've got. It's pajama time. Ooh, yes. It's pajama time. Some are pink and some are green. Some are the ugliest you've ever seen. They might be stripey or polka dot, but we can all pajama in whatever we've got. It's pajama time. Pajama to the left, pajama to the right. Jamma, 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 PJ. Everybody's wearing them for dancing tonight. Jamma, 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 PJ. Now, all around the room in one big line, wearing our pajamas and looking so fine. It's pajama time. What comes after pajama time? Hmm. Hop into bed, turn out the light. You can have a party in your dreams tonight. It's pajama time. Hush, hush. It's pajama time. Hush. Hush, it's pajama time. Shh.
Good night. Sleep tight. After you finish reading the story with baby, you might want to sing some quiet songs and then head into their crib to lay down for, hopefully, a restful sleep. Thanks for reading with me today. Goodbye.